So a typical day here at the brewery would be that our brewer would come in and he would organize his ingredients needed for the day. So he'd obviously inspect the ingredients and make sure that he was happy with them before he would put them in inevitably his tea bag. So we do three different flavors of kombucha. So depending on what ingredients that he needs for the day, he'll pull them from the boxes and get himself ready. He'll also inspect the organic sugar that we have on site then as well to make sure that he's ready for when the water goes into the kettle and he boils it up and um, is going to be ready for him to do his infusions. So our water is very important to us here. So we put it through a lot of uh, filters and then we also put it through a UV light. So that water then will be transferred into the brew house. So we have two 2000 liter kettles on site here and we will boil that water up to the desired temperature that the brewer feels for the tea to be able to get the maximum infusion levels. Um, and then once it's at that temperature, he will put the sugar in first um, to make sure that the sugar is going to be dissolved within the liquid. So what he'll do is he'll recirculate the water back in on itself in the kettle to make sure that it's mixed. Then he will add the tea bag um, of the organic ingredients into the water. He will leave that there for about 35 to 45 minutes depending on what tea that we're making inside in the kettle and then he will then transfer that into the fermentation tanks and then he will obviously add the manicay then as well which is of a replacement for the scobies that some people might have then as well then he will obviously over the course of the week he will end up testing the product to make sure that it's at the levels that we want it's at the consistency of previous batches and he'll take his readings and then once he's happy with that if it needs an adjustment of carbonation he will either add carbonation or take it away and then when it comes to the packaging day once his checklists have all been ticked off he will attach it to the bottling machine that we have on site here and then the bottles will go through the bottling machine it will be rinsed uh, labeled first then rinsed with sterile water then the best part comes is when the bottle actually gets filled with the kombucha and then it's capped and then at the end of the bottling line you have what we believe is a premium 100 percent organic bottle of kombucha which can be enjoyed by everyone of all ages then as well